Creek Canales. Let's give him a warm welcome. It is an honor to be here. I almost get choked up when I'm in the room with so many heroes. The word freedom to me is a misnomer. There's nothing free about freedom. Rivers of blood have been spilled so that we could have the freedom that we have today. And it's like, it's men and women such as yourselves who have given us that freedom. And it's my opinion that we need to stand up and fight for the people that fight for us, or we will fail as a society. This is a program that helps you and helps veterans such as yourselves and veterans' families get back on track when things have gone wrong. This is a second chance program. This is a program that doesn't seek to give veterans special treatment, but seeks to treat what needs to be treated. It focuses on the special needs of the veterans. Veterans are, in fact, one of the most special groups in the United States because they are the people that give us the freedom. I've prepared some words today, but I'm one of these people that have, it's easier for me to speak from my heart and easier to tell you how I feel and what I've done. When I ran for the legislature, I promised that I would focus on veterans and that I would work on veterans' issues. I've not only sponsored, authored, and co-authored many pro-veterans bills, including trying to help veteran property taxes, fees that are charged by law firms, making sure the veterans of spouses lost in combat are protected, that their properties are protected. This is a program that I greatly support. The Justice for Vets is a national organization that's committed to the expansion of veterans' treatment programs, reports more than 2.4 million men and women who have served in Iraq and Afghanistan. There's 460,000 will suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder or depression, and 345,000 will suffer from alcohol or drug addiction. Those numbers are staggering. One time, we hear the, the cost of war and the price of war and that this is how much that war cost us. There is no price or dollar value that we can put on the sacrifices that our veterans have made. There is no price or dollar value that we can put on the suffering that takes place after they come home. It's programs such as this Veterans Court that ensure and show that the community stands behind you. I stand behind you. The state's first veteran court started in Harris County in 2009, and since then there's been 11 additional courts that have opened their doors, with three more starting this year in Williamson, Webb, and Cameron County. My staff and I have been working on ideas to expand the veteran court system, and I see this court as a valuable tool to restore your dignity, build your self-confidence, and return a sense of hope when it seems that like all is lost. This, pro this program plays a vital role in our community, and I'm proud that here in Hidalgo County we're bringing men and women in uniform all the way home. I'm proud to uh, stand side by side with Judge Ramon and all the people that you saw stand before us. It's a coalition of people. It's a partnership between different organizations, between the Public Defender's Office, between the Adult Probation Office, between the Behavioral Centers. It's imperative that we fight and stand for the people that stand up for us. It's imperative that we focus and make sure that programs such as this not only thrive, but continue to exist and expand. I can tell you that my doors are always open. My office, for those of you who don't know, is right down the road. Veterans, by and large, is, is, is a federal issue, but I've made it a state issue of my platform. I believe the state of Texas can do more for veterans. We need a veterans hospital in Diablo County and Cameron County desperately. We need to make sure that our veterans are taken care of the way they took care of us. I did not fight for this country, but I stand here telling you that I will fight for you. And so I congratulate the graduates of this class. Use this as an opportunity to put your best leg forward. You've already shown that you are the best. You did, just the fact you enlisted, the fact that you had the guts, the fact that you had the bravery to put yourself on the line and say, I will stand for this country and I will fight and I will give all, means everything. The fact that you had a hiccup in your life and that you were part of this program, this is a, this is a beginning of a new beginning. Thank you, congratulations. My hat's off to you, my hat's off to all those who participate in this program. My door is always open for veterans and I stand behind you all the way. Thank you, and God bless you. God bless America.